Hey class, um, I wanted to show you the process for completing the uh, three assignments that go in the gradebook each week. Um, I'll do it for this current week just to make it make it easy. Um, so let me pull up my screen. All right, so the easiest way you're going to access the assignments is probably from my website, but it's also on uh, um, Google Classroom, and I uh, sent a message on Parent Square slash Student Square. And it's on the home learning plans on the school website. But if you go to my website, mrfino.bleba.com, and click distance learning assignments, um, and then click whatever week you're on. So for example, right now we're April 20th to the 24th, click that, you will find the list of assignments. Um, the only three assignments that will go in the grade book are the picture walk, the video lecture, and the quizzes. The, the vocabulary and the notes are there for you to help you on the quizzes, which is 15 points. So you wanna make sure you have those notes, have those vocabulary assignments in front of you um, or in the web browser so you can do well on that quizzes because it's 15 points, notebook points too, which are a lot more. Um, all right, so let me show you here. The first assignment in the gradebook is the picture walk, as I mentioned, so um, click that. I'm just going to go to say first period, select your own period, right? When you go there. So uh, oops. if you are first period, make sure you select first period. If you're six period, make sure you select six period. All right. Um, if you have your textbook, hopefully you do. Hopefully you were able to get that before uh, we started the distance learning. If not, um, if you look back on your emails, uh, your, your SLUSD emails, there's an email on April, um, April 18th that I sent that has this link here. You click it, it's going to take you to a PDF of the textbook. So if you don't have your textbook, there's no excuse. So you have access here with this PDF, All right? So using this, um, you'll go through the picture walk. I've listed the page numbers, right? So you'll go through and find the correct answer. So which dynasty brought political stability and new ways to deal with political and social problems in ancient China? Well, it says page 188. So we're going to go, we're going to find page 188. Let's see if I can scroll down. Let's see if I can just jump to further page where are we Romans it's too far 250 so you have to find that find that section let's see where we are here we go we're in China so this is page 198 so we're a little too far so I'm going to scroll up oh here we go all right so page 188 a little bit further down you can find that page if you have your textbook itself that's going to be easier than doing this, but at least you have access. All right, so the question again was, which dynasty brought political stability and new ways to deal with political and social problems in ancient China? Well, I see it over here. Um, remember picture walks, you're looking in the, everything but the context of the content itself. So if I see right here, it says the Zhou dynasty brought political stabi stability and new ways to deal with political and social problems in ancient China. So I'm going to select the Zhou dynasty. So that's how you'll do this. You'll go through, I'll do one more and then um, move on to the next thing. In addition to providing warriors to protect the king's land, what else did lords pay to the king? If I scroll down to page 189, what else did the lords pay to the king? Lords paid taxes to the king and provided warriors to protect his land. So let's see, they paid taxes. All right, so go through, select all your answers, and then submit okay that is the first uh, assignment you need to complete okay the second assignment you need to complete is the edpuzzle video so if you click here it's going to lead you to edpuzzle um and let's see i want to show the screen like you see it so um, it looks like this okay so you need to find the um assignment for the week. So in this case, it says, 
does it say? It said 7.2, the Joe Dynasty and New Ideas. So scroll down. Here it is right here. Select it, watch it, and um, as long as you watch the whole thing and answer all the questions, you will get your full credit. Okay, that's the second thing you need to do. The last thing you need to do is the quizzes, which is down here. 7.2, the Joe Dynasty and New Ideas quizzes. So select that. Again, select your the period that you're with me. So if you're in, say, third period, select third period. And um, first and last name, okay? First and last name, I need to know who you are. Start game. You get three attempts, I think starting next week. This week, I think it's still only one, but um, make sure you take your time because you get 15 minutes per, per question. So you pretty much have unlimited time. Okay, so what was the longest Chinese dynasty? Okay, you're, remember you're using the notes and the um, vocabulary. So let's see. Um, go back to the notes here. The question again is what was the longest Chinese dynasty? So I'm gonna look through and see where it talks about the longest Chinese dynasty. Well, I see right here. The Zhou was the longest Chinese dynasty. So I go back and you'll select the Zhou. Okay, and go back and forth. If you have your notes that you did on your notebook, that's gonna be best. But if you don't have that, you can, uh, again, you can pull it up uh, in another browser and go back and forth. Blank is the belief that people are bad by nature and need to be controlled. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the notes. Sorry, let's see. Notes here is the belief that people are bad by nature and need to be controlled. Let's see, so you look through. Here it is. Legalism is the belief that people are bad by nature and need to be controlled. So go back, select your answer, legalism. Take your time, right? Make sure you get them all right. You can literally look at your notes and see the answers, go back and select them. You have 15 minutes, 15 minutes for each and every question. So um, make sure you take your time on that and those are the three things you need to do for the week picture walk should take you know 10 15 minutes ed puzzle video should take you as long as the video is no more than 10 minutes and then this um you know if you have the notes in front of you 10 15 minutes so hopefully it's not too uh much of a a burden but i just wanted to go through and show you how to do that all right if you have any questions you can email me but uh thanks